Simon Murray here and today I'm going to be showing you the fundamental difference between ghost flames and subtle flames. So the first curl I'm going to lay down is metallic white coarse. I've already got a white panel, in this case it's been sprayed with sealer white, so I'm really just looking at one or two fairly light coats over the top of the white base. And on the side cast that'll just give me a nice metallic look. After about 15 or 20 minutes drying time, I'm just going to come in now with frisk film. You could use fine line tape, I've just cut a little bit of frisk here. And I'm just positively masking these up. And I'm going to come in now with uh, aluminium coarse. Again, medium would work fine, but I've just chosen coarse here. Three light coats, and what I'm going to do now is remove my frisk. And you can just see clearly the difference between the metallic white and the aluminium. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with candy. This is a candy uh, care blue and I'm putting on a fairly light coat here. I mean a really light coat on my first coat. After that I'm going to build it up to several coats and that's how I control the subtlety. The more candy I lay down the more subtle these flames become. You can see here I'm coming in with my fourth and final coat. But be under no illusion, no matter what angle you view these flames at, they will always be present. Even out of the booth now and under a spotlight you can see, uh, unusually the flames are switching between light and dark. That's just the interaction between the aluminium and the metallic. But at any time you can clearly see the flames. That denotes the fact that these are subtle flames and not ghost flames. So now I'm going to take another panel using the same metallic white course. Exactly the same, just spray a couple of nice light coats, 50% fan overlap will be fine, usual spraying rules apply. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to spray highlight interference over the top of that, in this case blue. Highlight is actually raw pearl, okay, it is complete raw pearl, there's no other colour in there, there's no blue, it is literally just raw pearl blue. And only a highlight interference or raw pearl can give you a ghost effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray one or two super light coats. You'll lose the effect if you wet it up here. I'm spraying really, really light. And once I remove the frisk here, you can just see the difference between the foreground and the background. However, whenever I clear it, you'll see the effect is a little bit more enhanced. And on the side cast, bizarrely, the flames actually disappear. Only raw pearl, only a highlight can actually do that. And you see the flames come in and out of existence depending on what angle you're viewing it. Obviously, this would be exaggerated on a curved surface, but the flames do actually disappear as opposed to the subtle flames that are visible from every angle. And that's pretty much it. I'm Simon Murray. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Good luck.